Hey everybody, Wesley Rudd with Rudd Manufacturing here today and I'm going to show you all a quick tip. Um, I'm kind of behind on posting some tips so hopefully I'll get this one uploaded with a few others pretty soon to catch up. But today I want to talk to you all a little bit about trailer brakes. Uh, we do offer some trailer repairs. We'll do trailer re rewires, um, you know, hangers, stuff like that. Next. Uh, well, not next tongues uh, jacks couplers stuff like that. We can do just about anything and uh, We may not be the cheapest in town, but I'll tell you that we're gonna do it right So when you come deal with us, you'll be dealing with me directly um, And anybody that I have operate uh, Perform work on anything that comes in the shop. It has to get supervised and approved by me a little bit of my backstory if you haven't seen my videos I've been in the welding industry uh, for half my life I'm 22 right now, so I've been in it for at least 10 years or so. Uh, I've been working in a shop welding since I was 16. So I've got experience in the industry. I've got a two-year degree from uh, Tyler Junior College, uh, two-year welding degree, all straight A's in my welding classes. So when you bring something to me, you can trust that it's in the right hands, and if I'm not sure about something, then I'll tell you up front about it. But today, I wanted to talk to you all a little bit about my trailer. So this is my old cattle trailer. I had to pull this wheel off so that I could replace a valve stem and I never have wired the brakes up on this trailer because I've never known if they worked or not. So today I just want to show you all a quick tip about how to test your brakes. Now I've got an old car battery here that actually came off of a forklift from work. It's low, low amperage but it's not dead. It still sparks up. But what we're going to do is I've got my positive is already screw is already uh, placed behind the nut on the battery and my two leads on the uh, brakes are connected if I can get it to focus there we go all I did was just twist them together it's just a quick simple little thing just twist them together as you can see this hub rotates if I can get it spinning good then what I'm gonna do is spin it really good and it stops so what you want to do as a matter of fact, I'll go ahead and do this for you. I don't want to do this for a prolonged period of time because this is very high amperage to be running through these, but it'll be okay temporarily just to test it. We're going to place that there, and you can see that hub is indeed engaged. That brake is engaged. It may not be the greatest. Um, it could be my connection. It could be, you know, it could be the battery's weak. It could be the the shoes are wore out i have never inspected the shoes on this because like i said i've never dealt with trying to hook them up but you can hear it clicking that's that shoe in there catching so i feel pretty confident that if i go ahead and wire up the brakes pull that loose if i go ahead and wire up the brakes on this trailer that it will indeed at least give me some extra braking capability and plus I didn't realize it until today, but it's brakes on both axles. A lot of these old trailers, they don't put brakes on both axles. They'll put them on one of the axles, because that's usually enough brake power. But this one, they actually have brakes on both axles. So, anyway, that's your quick tip for the day for when you're dealing with um, your trailer axles and you're wanting to test your brakes. That's your quick tip, and um, I hope this helps y'all out. That's my goal. Is to help you all out with diagnosing some of your own stuff if you if you got doubt give me a holler uh, you can call me my cell phone's 903-747-0512 you can give me a call I'll look at it I've got on-site capabilities you know I've got what I need to do the job I try to stay stocked on some of the stuff a lot of these trailer parts I can't stay stocked on because it's just not worth the putting the money into it to keep it on the shelf but I do keep a little bit of stuff in stock and I can for sure get it um, on a business day for sure but anyway that's a little bit about uh, checking the uh, brakes on your on your trailer axles um, quick tip here's your bonus tip this little dude right here is called a trailer aid we get, we bought this thing when we were going camping a lot to keep in our RV because we blew tires on that travel trailer like nothing else well this little dude has saved our lives so many times because all it is is you pull up whenever you've got a flat or a tire you need to change you pull up you loosen your lug nuts you set that behind the good tire uh, it has to be a tandem axle obviously you can't do it on a single axle but on a tandem axle triple axle 
you put that behind your good tire you back up on it until you fall in the notch it picks this up off the ground high enough to get a wheel off and you're good to go uh, we have literally changed an RV tire uh, in 10 minutes before at a gas station because we had a blowout pulled up at the gas station one of us got out started getting spare the other dropped the trailer aid down we started loosening lug nuts uh, while somebody took the spare and put some air in it and then we we came back and uh, backed it up on the trailer aid pulled the wheel off stuck a new one on there and we were gone in 10 minutes I guarantee you the people at the gas station thought we were a NASCAR pit crew because we just jumped into action and we got it done with three people in 10 minutes so that little dude right there will save your life it's definitely worth buying if you do a lot of towing one fair warning though we did find out on this big heavy 24 foot low boy that we've got that um, if you have a, a large load the suspension travel on it it messes up how that works it's not that we overloaded the jack it's just the fact that we couldn't get clearance because it wouldn't raise the axles up high enough with it being loaded um, other than that it's great I want to make an improved version of it I'm not releasing any info on that right now because uh, if I do create it then I'm gonna to try to get a patent on it I want to make an improved version of that um, that's a different style you know a different and they make there are other brands that make them they make them out of steel they make them where you drive up on either side you know all kinds of stuff but um, I want to make a better version that's not really even any, anything like that um, stay tuned for that because I'm hoping to do that sometime in the in the somewhat near future but anyway that's how you test the uh, trailer brakes on a trailer axle and I hope that y'all like this video. Sorry it went so long again. I mean, dead gum, I have the hardest time keeping a video under five minutes. But be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe. Don't hate in the comments section. I'm out here doing the best I can just like y'all are with whatever you want to do. No, I did not build the trailer. I have wired the lights on the trailer. Um, but I did not build the trailer. I have not done many modifications to the trailer from when I bought it. So that'll save y'all asking those questions. If y'all want to see more videos, whatever y'all want to see, be sure to hit me up, send me a, shoot me a message, shoot me a comment, whatever you want to see. I've got, I mean, we've got John Deere tractors, we've got Dodge trucks, Chevy trucks. We've got all kinds of stuff that we can work on if you want to see something that needs to be done. I try to, if I'm doing something kind of specialty like that, I try to take videos of it so that I can post it up for y'all. But anyway, that's it for today. I'm out.